Hey y'all, welcome to the Plot Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. Bushy Road's JP Winter Strategy presentation happened last night. We are recording this on the day of release, which is not usually what we do, but we wanted to make sure that we talked about this on the show. A lot of announcements last night. We're going to look at them briefly because we're interested in how they might affect English specifically. Other channels will talk about the JP releases as a whole if you're interested in you know, learning about all the JP specific stuff with it. We are interested in how it could affect English. So that's what we're going to talk about. This is the list of releases for JP announced last night. Hololife Premium Booster. There's a new Review Starlight Booster. There's a Review Starlight Portrait Booster. There's a new booster for Saikano. A new set for Idolmaster Million Live. And the second set for Princess Connect. Now, we have a couple of these properties in English already. But I think the only one of these boosters that we're looking at getting in English, Brandon, is the Hololife Premium Booster. Yeah, kind of based on what we're seeing, like, recognizing that the premium booster for Hololive is supposed to be tied with an event that's coming up that's sponsored by Weiss Schwarz, with the amount of money that Hololive seems to be bringing into Weiss Schwarz and how heavy Weiss Schwarz is partnering with Hololive, I would be very surprised if this somehow did not make its way to English by the end of 2022. Sales for Hololive pre-orders have been really solid, as far as we can tell. It's a popular property. It's a huge set. It's going to be meta-relevant. It makes sense. And, you know, they already gave us a premium booster. Once before, they announced the Bang Dream premium booster that'll be coming out next April. So they're clearly willing to bring these premium boosters to English. So I think it makes sense. Hollow Live, I think we can expect the premium booster release sometime in 2022. The rest of this list, Review Starlight, Idolmaster, they have stuff in English but we've not gotten any of the subsequent releases for those sets. So I don't think we're looking at either of those as a real possibility because there's so much other support that would need to come over. And frankly, neither of these sets have been supported in a long time with a release. So I think both of those sets are kind of done as far as English releases are concerned. Saikano so hasn't had any support in any whatsoever. Yeah, there's been no Psychano at all, despite the fact that it's still obviously relevant in JP. Princess Connect, we'll talk about that more in a little bit when we talk about what might happen later on. But Princess Connect is decently popular in English, as far as the mobile game itself. So it had a good launch and still has a pretty healthy player base. It's like, what, a year in or so? A little over a year in, I think. And with the second season of the anime coming out as well, I think it makes sense that Princess Connect is, you know, on the table for us eventually, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Real quick, the other thing that happened on the stream last night was the JP ban list updates. Given that we're focused on English, we don't really care too much about the JP ban list. It was just worth noting that Data Live got hit for a second time. Data Live has been hit a couple of times in relatively quick succession now. So I don't think anyone really expects there to be any kind of ban list dropped before Rumble next month. But I think it'll be worth keeping an eye on how Data Live does at Rumble, because if it dominates Rumble the way that it dominated Springfest, Bushy Road knows Dal is powerful, as evidenced by now two sets of restrictions on Data Live. So we'll see. This isn't predictive, but something worth keeping an eye on as we come out of Rumble next month. So here's the schedule. Here's what we have for sure right now. Ruby got delayed. It was December 17th. It's now December 22nd. So relatively small delay. Lots of things in general just getting delayed right now. This makes sense. Still in time for Christmas. We have the new Bang Dream set coming out January 21st. Rent a Girlfriend drops February 11th. Mushoko Tensei, March 11th. We have the Bang Dream Premium Booster, April 8th. Hollow Live, April 29th. And then the JP English release of Tokyo Revengers simultaneously on May 13th in the United States. I believe it's May 14th in Japan. So that's the schedule that we know. We also have confirmations for Fate Grand Order Camelot and Don Machi from the last English stream. And that's it. 
we don't have anything beyond that. No set confirmations, no dates, nothing. There are still a lot of things that are up in the air with this, right? We don't know if we're getting an English exclusive, or if maybe Tokyo Revengers is taking that slot. We don't know if they're going to keep up this releasing every three weeks thing that they seem to be doing throughout most of the early part of 2022. We have a month between Rent-A-Girlfriend and Mushoko Tensei, but then everything after Mushoko Tensei looks like it's coming out about every three weeks. So we don't know if they're going to keep up that schedule, which would squeeze another set into the end of the year. A lot of unknowns still, but I think it's reasonable, and Brandon, maybe you can correct me on this, I think it's reasonable to expect eight sets between Tokyo Revengers and the end of the year in English. I think you might be right with that, especially with the speed that they're putting out these releases for English. I think that eight's about that right number. And knowing two of those already being Camelot and Don Machi, leaving another six for like the last half of the year, I think makes complete sense. So I really think at least one of those will be an English exclusive. Even if we don't get one in summer, I really think we'll get one at the end of the year. So that obviously we would have no way of knowing what that is. We will probably know if there will be a June English exclusive or at least a summer English exclusive at the next stream, the English stream specifically, which Bushy Road English has indicated is supposed to be a quarterly thing going forward. Which we expect to be after Rumble. Right. We expect that to be after Rumble, probably February-ish, just because like the last one was in November. So I think that we'll probably know more about the potential for a summer English exclusive when that stream airs. But aside from that, if we don't get one, we've got five slots to fill through the end of 2022. And the list of potential candidates didn't really grow at this last stream unless you count the Hololive Premium Booster kind of getting shoved in there, right? And they seem to, at least based on what they did for Bangdry, which is kind of sandwich it in between Mushoko Tensei and Hololive three weeks apart, it makes sense that if they go to an expedited schedule, that will be one of the releases. or that one way or another, they'll sandwich it in between a couple of other releases. So either way, it doesn't seem like they want to make the premium boosters like the monthly releases in English, but again, we don't know what the release schedule necessarily looks like in terms of speed or how often they're going to come out. But if we assume that eight number, which I think is a fairly, you know, middle-of-the-road approach, Camelot Don Machi, we assume one English exclusive, and we assume the Hollow Life Premium Booster. We've got four slots left. Obviously, Summer English Exclusive could be on that list. But then aside from that, what are we looking at here? Because this most recent stream for JP doesn't really have any big, clear, we're coming into English outside of the one potentially Hollow Life, and even that's even more of a potential, because it's tied with an event, like, there weren't really sets here that are ones that are coming to English, so it's like, Going back a stream, what does that look like? What does that look like for entering these slots? Because they're not going to just throw a bunch of English exclusives in here. And anything they announce at this point beyond is going to be too close in dates, especially for the beginning half of summer. They usually have about six months between uh, coming out in JP and then coming out in English. The most recent exception being Tokyo Revengers, which is happening at the same time. Right, and that's a special release. So... Here's my short list. I think Quintuplets 2 will find its way into English at some point. Quintuplets has sold well. It's relevant. People like it. I think we're going to see Quintuplets 2. Other than that, I don't think we have, like, locks. I feel really good about Quintuplets 2, but I don't feel as confident in the rest of those releases because even if we got both Camelot Damachi which are confirmed the Hollow Live booster two English exclusives which seems unlikely and Quintuplets 2 we've got two slots that need to be filled realistically with something that's already been announced and i think that the short list for those slots those two maybe three shoot maybe four slots depending on you know if we get 
the premium booster or you know what the English exclusive ends up looking like, if there's one at all, is Princess Connect, because it's a relatively popular property, still relatively recent release, and you know, has the potential second set support. Dragon Maid, which, gonna be honest, I more or less wrote off. Like, I really didn't think we were gonna get it at all. Just because it was, you know, manga art. And we very rarely get manga slash light novel art in English. However, Bushy Road is going to be releasing the new Dragon Maid shoot 'em up game for Switch in English in March. So, like, right around the same time that the set drops in JP, the game is going to drop in both English and JP. So, with Dragon Maid coming out April 8th in JP, and the video game coming out, like, a couple of weeks before that in March, Bushiroad is at least interested, it seems, in releasing Dragon Maid, Dragon Maid stuff, at least, in English. Mm-hmm. And that definitely makes me perk up my ears and go, oh, Dragon Maid's still on the table. Whereas before I thought it was, you know, unlikely. Oh yeah, and no, I definitely agree. With Bushiroad being the publisher in this instance for the video game, I think that that's a clear sign for us that we should be paying attention to this as a Weiss release in English. Because they're already invested in investing in Dragon Maid into the English market. One can only hope. I really want this set. Anyway, so Princess Connect, Dragon Maid, I think Zombieland Saga still on the table. If only because it's very good. And because, you know, Dal, again, got an English release in part because of how good it was in JP. And everyone bought it. It got a reprint, right? So Bushiroad has at least got to recognize that sets that people know are going to be good are going to be purchased regardless of IP. So with Zombie Land Saga being so good in JP, and we know it would be really good on introduction into English, I think that bumps it up the list. I'm still not going to say it's a likely, but it's definitely possible. Yeah, no, I definitely agree that it's definitely possible. And I think the rest of that list would include things like The Day I Became a God, World Trigger, and potentially like Project Sakai. I don't know what the licensing looks like on any of those properties. Since Project Sakai does not play well with Project Diva, it's kind of like its own little thing. Like, Project Diva exists in English, but it's been a while since any of the kind of support has come out for that, or any kind of, like, any kind of, really, any kind of attention to it in some time. Yeah. No, I agree. I think that that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, like, I would say that even though we have Miku, essentially, in English already. That's not a guarantee that we'll right. get this I don't this know. One. Like I said, the only one in this list that I feel reasonably confident in is Quintuplets 2, outside of, like, you know, the, the already announced and the um, Hollow Life Premium Booster. So, but, like, we're looking at filling a lot of slots here, and the number of sets that can reasonably be in that spot is not that big. So I don't know if there's anything further back that might make its way over. There's always the possibility that they could just like drop Psychano on us or, you know, Fruits of Grisaya or, you know, like there are any number of things that they could just like surprise us with. But those have been out long enough that you would think they would have already made their way over. So who knows? But they've also released stuff well after the fact before. I mean, just take a look at Overlord. Exactly. Overlord, um, even Quintuplets to a certain extent. Right? So, we'll see. It's very up in the air at this point. I'm very curious to see what they're going to do in probably February with the next English stream. But this is the schedule that we have, and some real candidates for new English sets in 2022. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, we will have 5 Cards 5 Minutes on Thursday. Talking about Data Bullet, Brandon will have a deck tech on Tuesday. We'll have gameplay for that the following Thursday, and in two weeks we'll have another Clock Talk. We'll have the Rumble matchups show. We'll talk about the best decks in the meta and how they play into each other, so be ready for that. That's going to be a really good show. Until next time, thank you once again for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
and have a good one. We'll see you then.